I did get an opportunity to talk to him uh, a few times because, and he never said to me what was on, um, what he said on YouTube, which w- w- I was dying and I was agreeing with him. Um, but you, you know, because, you know, unless you're Bret Hart or Ted DiBiase or Kurt Henning, um, you know, who's blood born in the business, we were all fans. We, we loved pro wrestling so much. We loved it so intensely that we turned to ourselves and said, hey, I want to do it. I want to, I love this so much. I want to do it. I don't want to watch it on TV anymore. I want to be in the TV. You know, I, I want to do this. And which was the first thing I did. I got an opportunity to talk to Billy a couple of times, have some laughs with him because I wanted to ask him about Bruno, you know, cause Bruno San Martino is the reason why I broke into the wrestling business. And I thank the Lord above that I had the opportunity to spill my guts to Bruno San Martino one night. <laughs> for like over an hour and he looked at me at the end he goes me and Cini, i wish you were my son and i went oh my god you know bruno said that to me because he was everything to me bruno san martino was my whole world he was my whole world so i got i did get to talk to billy but what makes it even more interesting is if you go on youtube and watch the shoot interview with, with superstar billy graham and i love bob backland bob backland's very un, unoffensive i like bob um, but you know, in Philadelphia, I think it was, I, I think it was in Philly. And then the next night or, or the next week, the year was up and superstar had to drop the belt to Backlund and he was finishing up his steel cage run with Bruno, um, for the year. And he said to Bruno, he goes, I can't believe I have to drop this belt to Bob Backlund. He goes, I, 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 I can't believe I have to do this. And he looked at Bruno and said, I'm going to throw you out of the cage. I'm going to throw you out of the cage. And Bruno said, oh, Billy, please don't do that. Please don't do that. He goes, I'm so tired. Don't do that. He goes, that'll screw everything up. You can't work with Backlund for the strap. He goes, that'll screw the whole thing up if I throw you out of the cage. He goes, don't do it, Billy. Don't do that. He goes, stop. Don't even think of we would think of that. And Billy Graham said, similarly, I think I could have did the Hulkamania run. It would have been something different. Obviously, it wouldn't have been called Hulkamania. But he said, I think I could have made that run and been as popular. And I'm sitting there scratching my head and I'm going, I think he could have. Because don't forget, he had 24 inch pythons. Right. So I I think I think he could have. I I think he could have. I yeah, really his, his arms were bigger than Hogan's, I think, legitimately. And <laughs> They wouldn't let him turn face in WWE, but you could hear that that promo where he says it's pandemonium, and you could see people throwing stuff. You could hear people cheering him, booing him, and it really is pandemonium. But they just wouldn't run with him as a face. No, I really think I really think he he could have he could have done that. I I think he had the physique. I think he had the mic skills. I think he could have done it. I really do. I really do think he could have done it. You know, I don't listen. I I like Terry, but Hulk Hogan is made up of superstar Billy Graham, Chief J Strongbow, and a little bit of Dusty Rhodes. Go on YouTube and watch Strongbow's matches and his comeback. Then go to Hogan's match and you'll say, Oh, that jobber's right. <laughs> Plus, uh, he took pythons and and brother from him, and and also Billy Graham also did the cup with yep. the ear first and the shirt rip. You're I've right. Seen it. You're yeah. All right, so that makes it even more superstar Billy Graham than Strongbow. You're right. You're absolutely right. That so that makes it even more 
Billy Graham than Strongbow. But, but and if you see Billy Graham in Japan from the eighties, he had like the black beard with the white Fu Manchu in Japan before Hogan had it in WCW. So yeah. One thing I wish Hogan would do is treat Billy Graham better, uh, which which he hasn't done. But again, that's not my place. But I know Billy really likes him. Uh, so it's just sad that like at the end of his life, Hogan doesn't like call him every once in a while to check yeah. in. 